Welcome back guys. Today in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to connect the external database from a Google Sheet to Adobe XD. Alright, as you guys can see in here, I have some shapes and text in here. The gray color is the image shape, which where I'm going to place the image inside. And the background is the white color rectangle. I made them as rounded corners and we have three layers of text. And in here in the layers, I have named them properly so that later on we can identify and connect them. I will show you guys in a while. Okay, so this is our component. I also already prepared a Google Sheet. I will show you guys. In here, you can see the same images and title, dates, and the photographer name. And for the images, I have added some image links. I will show you guys how I did it in a while. Basically, these images are coming from this Google Drive in here. For other data, I just type some random data in here just for this demo purpose. All right, let's go back to XD and we have like eight sets of data. So I'm going to create eight set of this component using the repeated grid. So select this one, go to your repeated grid and make some eight component in here. Just drag in here. We need four and below vertically let's have four you can adjust this space if you want the, i'm not focusing on the ui design for this, this tutorial just place this one to the center okay so now we have eight set of component and we have the google sheet ready now we need to link the google sheet to this xd file to do that you need to install the google sheet plugin to install the plugin go to the plugins and click on this plus icon which will open up all the plugins uh, available in XD, go to the search and type for Google Sheet and you will find the first one in here and just click on it and install. So it will take a couple of seconds and you will see there is new plugin installed in here. Now go back to your Google Sheet and one thing is very important, go to the share option and you need to share this to public. So you need to keep this file as public link anyone should be able to access this link don't worry if you don't share this file with anyone nobody can access so once you make it as a public file copy the link below once you copy go back to the plugin and in here select the first option you have to select all the component first and in here select the first option link the google public google sheet and in here you can just paste the link which you copied in the link section below and when you apply and continue, you will see all your XD elements will be listed on your left and the dynamic components will be listed on your right. That's why naming the components in XD is very important so that you can easily identify which goes to where. So in here, everything is okay except the image. We need to link the image to the image uh, rectangle. And in here, you will see there is a randomized option. If you click randomize option, Google Sheet data will be placed randomly. It won't change the set. It will keep the set as it is, but place it randomly. All right. Okay. So we don't need to do that for this example. I'm just going to say, okay. Now you can see all our data is replaced from the Google Sheet to here. If you go back to our Google Sheet and you can see our titles are correct but one and the dates are correct and the image link are coming from the Google Drive. Okay, guys, so this is how you link your Google Sheet to XD file. Okay, so one thing I want to point out in here is these images are hosted in uh, Google Drive. You can have your images hosted anywhere you want. If you are hosted your images in Google Drive, you may need to change a small thing. So go to your Google Drive and right click. You will see there is a get link option. So just copy the link. If you paste the link directly into your Excel sheet, it won't work. You need to get the direct image link from the Google Drive. To get the direct image link from Google Drive, it's really easy. Paste your code which you copy from your Google Drive, shared code, and instead of in here, you can see it's saying open. Instead of open, just delete this open part and enter UC. So you need to change the open to UC, then it will get the direct link for you. 
okay so you need to paste this code in your image link you can do the same thing for your personally hosted sites as well if you want to host images in google drive you need to get the direct link of that image file to get it you can change this code like this in here and use this code as the image link all right guys so that's all about it today hopefully you guys learned something new thank you for watching see you guys in the next tutorial